Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm just sipping on my coffee. Have to do it first thing in the morning. And it's actually first thing in the morning. And while I'm sipping on my coffee, part of my face wants to go somewhere. Specifically, these eye bags. They've got, they're all packed and ready to go. I don't know where they're going though. Probably nowhere because they're stuck on my face. Anyway, do you have any suggestion on how to get rid of this? <clears throat> I'm sick of this eye bags already. <laughs> but anyway, guys, how are you? Hope you are fine. Today, I'm just coming at you with another yeah, sabotage to my life. <clears throat> Sabotaging my bank account, specifically. And I have a parcel here, guys. You know what it is. <laughs> Let me just sip on this coffee again. Excuse me. Mm, love it. Love it. Yes, girl. So, let me just give you a bit of a backstory on this purchase. Um, <clears throat> as you know, um, or as you may not know, I'm using my speedy. 35 Bandoli in Damia Bin from Louis Vuitton as my work bag and I'm using it like four times a week so that's my heart is like a bit guilty of you of doing that and so I began to hunt for a bag that I could use for every day in replacement to that or so I could just substitute um, one of them to the other so I got this and my criteria was like, um, for the price range, I don't want it to be too much, <clears throat> like probably above a thousand dollars. So this one came just below about 400, 400 dollars. So that's not too bad. So if you're going to use it for years and years, that should be fine. And <clears throat> yes, I stumbled upon this on Gumtree first. And I found the same listing on eBay, so I contacted the seller on Gumtree, offered her, and she gladly accepted it, which is great. And this is a vintage piece. This is like my second vintage piece. Um, and yeah, let's just get into this unboxing, or unbagging, if you will. And yeah, I'm opening it now. Yeah, my eye bags are just terrible. Let's just open this. Okay, so let's just breathe in. Wait. I hope it is sort of as described. These unboxings are just... It's like a jack, jack in a box. You don't know what's gonna pop out of it. I mean, you know, but you're not 100% sure what it is, what's inside. Oh, my God. Okay, and oh my gosh, oh my good lord, the rings. Okay, where do I open it? And the seller was very, very nice. She was very reassuring throughout the process, and yeah, I am I gladly offered her this. No, I thought, yeah, I offered her. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, looking good, guys. Oh my god. And so here it is. Oh, I thought it was bigger, but anyway, it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm introducing. Wow, it looks amazing. amazing so I'd like you to meet my new to me vintage authentic Louis Vuitton um, <laughs> Noe GM so it's a vintage piece and this one it was from 1989 I believe and of course it got a strap inside so put that strap out so from all of these pieces mm -hmm. Yeah, it has that Louis Vuitton branding here. I don't know if you can see. 
but it's a bit faded now because it's quite vintage from 1989 guys I don't know and it's quite thick the leather is so thick It's a bit cracked, but it looks like it has a lot of years to go, and I'm quite happy. Oh, the patina, oh my gosh, it's honey, honey patina, it's like perfect. Okay, let me just inspect everything. I don't want any more surprises. it very well <clears throat> because I've done quite a, a bit of a research on this and from the prices that I've seen on eBay for for probably like a similar condition bag like a similar Noe with this condition this will go up for about 700 to a thousand dollars and I got it for four hundred dollars yes <laughs> and oh my god it has some water stains on here, but I love that. I love a, a bit of a character to a bag. And that means, that just means that, that just means that I don't have to baby this. Because I don't want to baby it though, because I'm gonna, I'm planning to use this for work. And yeah, I just wanted to put this on. So, <clears throat> yeah, since getting my speedy and I have quite a few already. Um, I have quite a few pieces already from Louis Vuitton. So I just wanted to get a bag with the Vachetta um, leather on it. Because I, I don't know. At first I'm very, very much like terrified or scared to use um, or to purchase bags from Louis Vuitton with the Vachetta because, you know, of the staining and all that jazz. Be that's why I got the Kipo, I got my Kipo on with the black trim and also my Makassar. No, not Makassar. Yeah, that's the Makassar, the Kipo. And I also got my, uh, what's that? The Palm Springs backpack in black trims as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is amazing. It doesn't have a smell to it though. Which is good. Oh my gosh. So fast. She kept it very well. That's amazing. I'm surprised. And I couldn't see any cracks or anything like that. Just a few scratches on the Vachetta. But nothing very like <clears throat> big or something that will push me away to it so okay so this is this is it <laughs> and I'm just so yeah um, bef I've also watched a few youtubers um, before purchasing this specifically hey June of course she's the queen <laughs> of handbags I believe in my opinion and <clears throat> of course I don't know I had to stop watching her videos no shade but Every time I watch her videos, I'm like triggered, always triggered to buy the things that she's purchasing. <laughs> and also, um, I've watched Kim, Kim from Kim Chella. Hi Kim. Um, <clears throat> yeah, both of their finds are quite amazing and for the price range, especially June. She hauled her Noe for about $200 Australian, no, 200 US, I think. No. I'm not sure, but you just check that out. I might link. I will link her video down below, and also Kim. Um, but for this condition, guys, I don't have to like purchase a leather cleaner for this because it's quite clean. I don't have to do that. And in any case, I could, but yeah, I don't have to purchase a cleaner, which might, which will cost me a bit more. And you know, the patina on this is. Perfect. I hope I could like preserve the patina because this is like the perfect um, color that I'm after for this vachetta. 
the fashetta is oh my gosh specifically on this outfit it looks nice like it's the perfect pop of um tan and you got the monogram there i know like i love it guys um i put some stuff in here just to see how it looks like with things in it so yeah i, I love it guys i'm loving it and it's just not like a perfect work bag you could perfectly um you could actually use this in every day um, especially when you're like going out and when you need to pack a lot of things so yeah, i think this bag was designed as well because i think i don't know it's like a champagne company wanted louis vuitton i think they wanted louis vuitton to make them a bag to fit like five bottles of champagne so yeah you could actually fit five bottles in here which is amazing if you would if you like to purchase wine or anything like that and yeah i'm very very happy with this and <clears throat> i don't know i only this is like my one like third third tote bag in my collection and i don't know i don't want to get rid of any of my totes I, I no i'm not for now so yeah i'll just show you how it looks like on so yeah guys yeah i couldn't wait to actually use this now and to abuse it <laughs> and i just love I'm in love. Yeah, um, I think this is currently retailing for 1800 Australian dollars. And I got not how much, like $400, 60 or 70% of the retail price, which is, guys, I just can't. <laughs> and if it, do, if it does fall apart, and I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't. But of course, you need to also take care of your bags. You just not chuck every anywhere that you wanted to. I take care of my bags, and I want it to last forever, as long as I, as long as they could. And being an eight, twenty-year-old bag, I mean, what else can you expect from it? Love it, guys. Super in love with it. Mm. And it doesn't have a smell. I'm expecting like a very musty smell to this bag because it's a vintage piece. And I think because the uh, seller was using it, so I think she got rid of the musty smell. So yeah, and guys, <clears throat> you could actually use this as a crossbody. I've seen a few people on YouTube ab were able to crossbody this bag, but. I don't want to actually do that because it's a toad. It's supposed to be on your shoulder, but that's an option if you want. And this currently retails for eighteen hundred Australian dollars, and I got it for four hundred. So that's like more than seventy percent off of the retail. So if you're actually wanting this bag, I think it's a good idea to purchase it pre-loved or as a vintage piece because you won't have to worry about like putting it into shit. And yeah. It's a luxury item for $400, guys. You can't really beat that. And it's a good bang for the buck. And if you're starting for... If you are starting your, like, luxury journey, this is, like, a perfect um, entry level. Go vintage, guys. Go pre-love. It's a good um, option if you don't want to, like, um, sabotage your bank account. Yeah, um... I, I kind of, I, lo I love it guys. I'm, lo I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's, yeah, it's just that, like, the history. I feel like I have the history of Louis Vuitton on my hands now because I got the Vachetta here, which Louis Vuitton is known for. Got the monogram there. And yeah, although I didn't purchase the keep all in with the Vachetta because I'm very terrified to put any marks or any to damage it and this one I don't have to worry I can use it any day anytime that I want and yep yeah. yay I'm happy and let me know on your thoughts do you have a similar Noe bag and 
is it still on your collection and if not let me know down below and if you like this video I'd like for you to, to um, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed and I have a lot of videos coming up soon and just keep your eyes peeled for my other videos I have a bit of a um, got a list of YouTube ideas that I wanted to do especially like a shopping hack that's what I wanted to do in the future or in the coming weeks or days and also yeah I'll see you in my next one guys hope you have a good day bye